In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to bring your designs to life by adding animations in Adobe Express. Animating your text and graphics is a great way to grab attention and improve the overall appeal of your social media posts, videos, and the other content you create. There are tons of animation options to choose from, and you can easily customize the duration, intensity, and even the timing of each animation. And with the Animate All option, you can quickly animate all the elements on your entire template with a single click. So let's head over to Adobe Express and go over how to easily animate your content. So from the Adobe Express homepage, go ahead and open up any type of project that you wish. I'm just going to open up a square Instagram post project. This should take me to the Adobe Express editor. Here's where we can access tons of tools and features to create content and designs. So to demonstrate how to add animation, we'll first need some text and some graphics to animate. So first, to add text to my template, let's go to the text tab from the menu on the left hand side. Here's where you can easily add text to your project and where you can browse through various text templates as well. For this example, let's just click the add your text button at the top here to add some standard text to my template. I can now type in new text to replace the default text and use the menu on the left hand side to select a new font and adjust other text settings as well. There we go. Now let's drag the corner to make it a bit bigger and move it towards the top of my template. And to find some graphics to add to my project, let's go to the Elements tab from the menu on the left hand side. To find graphics on Adobe Express, let's go to the Design Assets tab at the top here. And using the search bar, you can search the library for any graphic that you wish to use with your design. For this example, I think I'll just add various types of sports balls. So let's type in the keyword ball and add a few to my template. So now that I've added my text and some graphics, I can now rearrange and resize everything as needed. I think that'll work. So now that I've finished creating my example design, let's go over how to add some animation. First, let's animate my text. To add animation to my text element, let's start by selecting it. Once you select an element, there's actually two ways to access the animation menu. Using the menu on the left here, you can go all the way down to the bottom and select the animation tab. Or if you prefer, you can simply click the Add Animation icon from the top toolbar here. This will open up the animation menu on the left hand side. Here's where you can easily add custom animations to your selected element. If you like, you can use the Animate All tab at the top here to animate all the elements on your template with a single click. We'll go over this later, but for now, let's go over the various animation options for my text. If we look underneath the Animate All button, we can see there are three options for adding animations. Using the End tab, we can select the animation for my text to appear on my template. Using the Loop tab, we can select the animation that will be looped while my text is displayed. And using the Out tab, we can select how my text will leave my template. So let's start with the End tab and select how my text will appear. If we go through the menu here, we can view various categories and styles for our text animation. Whenever you hover your mouse over an animation style, you'll see a preview of it on the template on the right hand side. The animation that you select will depend on whatever vibe you want to create. So take your time and check out the various animation categories and styles and see which one you like best. For my text example, I think I'll go to the scale category and select the grow animation. This will make my text appear to grow as it appears on my template. Whenever you select an animation, you can then select your animation settings by clicking the settings icon in the center here. From the pop-up menu here, you can select settings such as the duration of your animation, the intensity, and even the personality. If I wanted to increase or decrease the duration of my animation, I could simply use the slider bar here. Let's increase the duration just a little bit. There we go. So I've added an end animation to my text. So let's scroll back up to the top and select the loop tab. Here's where I can add a looping animation to my text for the entire duration it's displayed on my template. The Loop tab will have different animation styles than the End tab, so make sure you take your time and browse through the various animations. For my looping animation, I think I'll go with the Wiggle. Next, let's click the icon in the center here to adjust my animation settings. For my Wobble animation, I can adjust the speed and the intensity. The speed, of course, is how fast my text wobbles, and the intensity will determine how far up and down it goes. I think I'll speed up my wobble just a bit. And for my intensity, I think I'll actually bring it down a bit. And as you make changes, you can see a preview of your animation on the right hand side. Also, if we go to the menu options up top, 
Beside the in and the loop categories, we can see a blue dot indicating that we added an animation. So for our final option, let's add an exit animation to the out tab. Here's where I can select how my text will disappear from the template. Just like before, take your time and browse through the various out animations and find the one that you like. Since I selected grow for my in animation, let's select shrink for my out animation. I can then click the settings icon in the center and adjust my duration and other settings. I think I'll increase the duration of my animation just a bit. I think that'll work. So I've added an in, a loop, and an out animation to my template text. And after you animate your template, you'll also notice a video timeline appear at the bottom here. This will allow us to easily preview and adjust our animations. So I think my text animation looks pretty good. So let's go over how to add animations to my graphics as well. The process is pretty much identical. So let's select my first graphic. And if I go all the way down to the bottom of the menu on the left, we'll see the animation tab. But if you prefer, you can simply click the add animation icon at the top toolbar. This will open up the animation menu for my graphic. Let's start by going to the end tab so we can select how my graphic appears. From here, we can see all sorts of animation categories and styles that can be added to my graphic. These are slightly different than the text animations, so make sure you check them out and find the one you like best. For my graphic appearance, I think I like this tumble animation here. And if I click the center settings icon, It'll open up a menu where I can select several settings. For my tumble animation, I can select the duration, the rotation, add a fade, select the direction, and even select to have it start outside the page. As you can see, the customization options will be slightly different depending on the animation you select. I think that'll work for my in animation, so now let's select my loop animation and my out animation. For my out animation, I'm also going to select tumble, but under the settings, let's select the other direction. This will make it look like my soccer ball is leaving the same way it came in. I'll also select to have it end outside the page, and I think that'll work for my soccer ball animation. Before we continue, let's go ahead and add animations to my volleyball and to the tennis ball here as well. So now, I've finished animating all the individual elements on my template. Using the timeline at the bottom, let's start it from the beginning and see how my animated template looks. As you can see, each element has its own end animation its own looping animation, and its own out animation. I think that looks pretty good, but one cool thing about Adobe Express is that we can actually adjust the timing of our animations. To adjust the timing, let's go down to the bottom here and click the show layer timing toggle. Now when we select an element on our template, we'll be able to see the layers on our timeline. So for instance, if I select the animate me text, the layer for my text will appear right above the timeline at the bottom. I can use this to easily select how long my element is displayed on my template and when it should appear or exit. So let's adjust the layer here and have my animate me text only display in the first half of my post. As you can see, it disappears around the three second mark. And this is actually a very powerful feature and allows you to make some cool customizations. For instance, I could easily add another text element and have it appear right after my animate me text. To do this, Let's just duplicate my animate me text to retain all the animations. And with my duplicate text selected, let's go down to the timeline at the bottom and move the layer to the end of my post. I want this text to appear after the three second mark. And of course, I can rearrange the text and change what the text says. So I've added another text layer. So let's play the preview and see how it looks. I have my graphics and my animate me text. And right after, my new text should appear as well. Not bad. Feel free to use the timeline at the bottom to adjust the timing of your other layers as well. Having the ability to adjust the timing of your layers provides you with unlimited customization options. So once I finish animating my post, I can then go up to the download button at the top and download my new animated post to my device. So that's an overview of how to animate the individual elements on your template. But on Adobe Express, you can actually animate all the elements with a single click. To demonstrate this, let's open up a template that I've already created. So as you can see, I've already added some graphics and some text to my template. If you want to save time and don't want to animate each element individually, simply go up to the top toolbar here and click the animation button. Since I don't have any elements selected, it should open up the animate all menu. From here, you can view several animation styles that you can easily add to your template. So as an example, let's select the popping animation. It may take a few seconds to process, but once it's done, all of the elements on your template should now be animated. But since we selected animate all, all of the elements will have the same popping animation. 
But if you wanted to add even more customization, you could easily select an individual element and change the animation to something else. The Animate All option is great for when you have a ton of different elements on your template and you want everything to have a bit of movement. And by changing an element animation and the timing, you can fully customize the template however you like. So let's go over one more example, but this time I'll be adding new elements to a video. To enhance your videos, you can easily add new elements and add some attention grabbing animations. For my video, I think I'll add some text which will serve as video captions. So first, let's go to the text tab on the left hand side here and click to add some text to my template. I can now change what my text says and make other adjustments to my text as needed. So next, to animate my text, let's make sure we have it selected, then go to the animate tab at the top toolbar. And just like before, I can use the menu here to select the in, the loop, and the out animation for my text. For this example, I think I'll go with the breathe animation. So now that I've finished animating my first text element, let's go down to the bottom right here and click the edit timeline button. This should make the timeline visible at the bottom of our template. Also, at the bottom, make sure you have show layer timing enabled. This will allow us to adjust the timing of each individual element. So next, let's select my text and adjust this text layer to play for only the first three seconds. I'm also gonna use the timeline here to adjust the length of my video as well. For this example, let's have it play for six seconds. So now, my video is six seconds long and my first text element will play for the first three seconds. I wanna add different text for the next three seconds, so let's duplicate this text element here. I can then move it around and resize the text if needed. There we go. Before we continue, let's use the slider bar at the bottom right here to increase the size of our timeline to make it a bit easier to see. I think that's much better. I can now take my second text and move it to the last three seconds of my timeline. Also, for this text element, let's change it to say, enhance your design. I think that looks pretty good. So I've added text to the first three seconds of my video and new text to the last three seconds. So let's see how it looks by clicking the preview play button at the bottom here. So here's my first animated text element. And when this one goes away, the other one should then appear. I think that looks pretty good. Feel free to edit your template as much as you like. And when you're ready, you can use the buttons up top to either download or share your new design. So that's a quick overview of how to add animations to your text and design assets on Adobe Express. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.